So your uh, first uh, pro season in the books here, Drew, and uh, just kind of kind of give an assessment. Uh, it's it's a long grind, ups and downs, but uh, just kind of talk about your thoughts on your first uh, professional campaign. Um, it, it was it was a good learning experience. It was it was fun. It was it was a grind at times. It, I mean, it wasn't too bad for me, but it's, it was still fun coming to the rink every day. We had a great group of guys. We had a pretty good season and. Um, I uh, learned a lot and it didn't uh, go how I would want it to win personally. Um, not quite the results I wish I would have gotten, but um, with that being said, there's a lot to build on looking on next year and, and so so forth into the future, and it's going to be a good time. I'm sure last summer a lot of people were talking to you about you, you just can't really know what's going to happen in your pro season or know what that experience is like until you actually do it. You've done it. I don't know if anyone told you that, but does that make sense now? Is there stuff that you picked up, you learned, that you didn't know maybe coming in from your senior year at St. Cloud State? Um, well, it's going to be that way all the time. I mean, it's a new league. It's, it's You're playing against new players. You're playing against a lot a lot of guys that are older. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good experience for me. It was, it was a good time. I mean, I had fun during the year. It was fun coming to the rink every day, like I said before. And um, use it as a learning experience and something to build on going forward. I mean, that's – it's. Uh, the year came to an, a quick ending, um, but uh, I think this team going forward is going to be pretty good. What, what are you going to focus on over the summer, moving into your second pro season? Uh, just bigger, faster, stronger. Um, a lot of, uh, I mean, I guess there's that's probably every every hockey player's off-season workout program, and mine's no different. Um, work hard and uh, see what it comes bring next year. Did, did you find out different aspects of your game to be different at the pro level compared to the college level? Um, uh, the biggest thing for me was playing without the puck. I think in, in college, <laughs> the better players have it all the time. So um, you don't really have to learn how to play without it. And um, I think learning how to play without the puck, how hard everyone is on loose pucks, compete level, I think that's a that's the biggest step that I need to improve on in my game, that and shooting the puck more. And, um that's an easy fix, um, but I mean, those are the two big things for me that were a lot different. Because you have to talk to Jeremy Morn about the shooting the puck thing. Any plans for the summer? And he to, to get away once once things kind of wind down here and uh, you get uh, you get settled back home. Um, I'm still up in the air on what I'm going to do. Um, I think it'd be fun to train in Chicago, but then again, I always go back home and train uh, in, in Brain, the Brainerd Lakes area at Minnesota Hockey Camp. So I'm um, still trying to figure out something to do here and there but uh I try to get out fishing as much as I can and I'm in my spare time and uh just kind of for the next couple of weeks get away from it and, and enjoy it and relax